Alright guys, it is the night before we depart from California to Boston, Massachusetts for PAX East. I'm really excited, I'm super pumped, and I can't wait to get there. See you guys bright and early, it's gonna be awesome. I'm dying. I don't wanna go. I don't wanna go anymore. We're both gonna do documentaries? No, only you. I'm too lazy. Did you hear that guys? Paul doesn't think you guys are worth it. That's not what I said at all. Right before I hit record, he was like, I don't think they're worth it, Kyle. I well, just... maybe I would make a documentary if Kyle would let me use the flip, but Kyle's the only one with the flip, and I don't know what's a handier method of, like, just pulling a camera out of your pocket and taking some video. And flip. I'm using the flip while driving. Don't try this at home, kids. Yeah, that's dangerous. Man. Where the hell are we going? And so we left New Egg about five seconds ago, and we're in Home Depot. It seems like any time we go on a trip, we just have to make like a pit stop to some random store to, to get one last item that uh, that we need for our trip. So right now we are looking for you know, two screwdrivers. You're not allowed to record in a retail environment, Kyle. Well, thank you for telling me that, employee of... I'm just trying to spoil your freaking... documentary because I'm not making one. Wow, that's, that's just like Paul, isn't it, guys? Well, we're looking for uh, two screwdrivers and two flashlights. And that's uh, precisely for the build contest. This isn't what we were looking for, Paul. These air compressors. This is not the air compressor you're looking for. If you guys are going to be at the build-off that we're going to be hosting at at uh, PAX, you're going to need one of these screwdrivers. This looks fun. And it's probably going to be dark as hell in there, so we're going to get you guys some flashlights. Aren't we nice? Aren't we nice to our fans, Paul? Yes. Hey, look, the screwdriver is sponsored by that StarCraft II guy. Well, how's it going, guys? Uh, we are at LAX Airport waiting for our flight to board, but uh, in the meantime, while we're waiting, I thought I would do a quick unbagging of my carry-on bag. Uh, you can see that big one down there is also my carry-on, but that's just my clothes. Nothing fun in there, other than maybe deodorant, which can be fun sometimes. Uh, but uh, let's see what I have with me here. So this is uh, the first pocket, by the way, like my bag. Where'd this bag come from, Kyle? This bag actually came from an awesome site called NewEgg.com. Excellent. Thanks for asking. So going on to the first zipper here, I've never really unbagged a bag before, so this is kind of awkward. Uh, but I've got my hand sanitizer gel right here. We are at an airport. We're going to be on a plane. This is almost essential. This is like Flight Travelers 101. And then we've also got, oh, look at this, some tech, guys. Kingston, uh, Kingston little uh, HyperX flash drive right there, 16 gig. Unfortunately, it is only USB 2.0. Retractable but, USB. And it's retractable, right? It's even got a little keychain thing. I haven't put a keychain uh, leash on it yet, but I probably should. And I've got a... Uh, Chapstick right here. This is um, organic lip therapy. That is some hippie chapstick. It is hippie, man. Uh, you can see I've used it quite a bit. It's it's definitely used. If any of you guys want to buy it, I'm selling it right now for uh, two ninety nine. <laughs> also got uh, nail clippers, you know, because you never know. Little CVS branding right there, logo on the front. Uh, it also has this really nice pop out uh, cuticle trimmer right there and nail file. It's just like a three in one. I mean, it's it's pretty good stuff here. And then uh, oh yeah, definitely can't forget my single halls cough drop uh, in case I get a very mild cough attack for five minutes this this will serve that purpose just fine uh, aside from that I think I have some other stuff oh you know what dice you always need some dice oh you're gonna shoot some dice in Boston you're gonna shoot some dice in Boston maybe play some 7-eleven dubs who knows they actually have a a power fort from Choix, which is like a company owned by Cooler Master they actually have this power fort here which they gave to me for free. Oh, you brought yours. I brought mine. This is actually cool. You can charge it, right? Charge it with the USB through a wall or, uh, you know, with a USB connector. And then you can actually charge wirelessly your uh, phone or whatever USB-enabled device. So I uh, brought it so that my phone lasts forever for the six hours that we're on the trip. I also have a little... Ooh, what's this? It's in a nice little uh -oh. felt bag. What could it be? What could it be? Anticipation's killing me. Ah, oh, it's a mini speaker. Ah, the speaker. It's a Kinevo. I've actually never heard of this brand until I, I got one of these, but I looked it up on uh, uh, Newegg, of course. I think that's the same one I got for my brother-in-law, actually, for, for Christmas. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You oh, said, said it's pretty solid. I, I'm pretty uh, satisfied with it so far. It's got The only thing I wish is that I wish the, the connector here was a little bit longer. It's yeah. kind of a short cable, but I guess it keeps it nice and compact and tidy. But you can actually twist this and pop it up for some boom and bass, if you, if you so desire yeah. right there so uh i think that's pretty much all in all my bag for this trip so uh thank you guys for watching this episode of lax tech special stuff and we'll see you next time Nerd. <laughs> Nerd. we are on the plane right now on, the, on our way to boston we're about halfway through the flight uh, i thought this would be a perfect opportunity to give you guys a little product demo on the twix power fort so uh take a look here 
can see that uh, my phone is pretty much about to die, so uh, I'm going to charge it with the power for it right here. It's got a USB cable, USB to micro, and uh, you just plug it in like that. Turn it on. Those are the LED indicators it's telling you how much uh, battery strength you've got. I've got quite a bit of juice left, so I'm just going to plug it in right here, like so. Like that, you can see. Let me unlock it for you. You can see the battery icon right there. It is now charging my phone. So now I can continue listening to music on the plane for the rest of this flight. And uh, of course, always drinking the 12 year scotch in true, in true awesome sauce fashion. See you later. And we have landed. Touchdown. Good job, everybody. All right, so we just landed in Boston and uh, we've been greeted with a nice green pack sign. That's nice. At the airport, right? You don't see that every day. But uh, it was a long six hour flight. Paul had a great time. He sat next to awesome people, I'm sure. I didn't know you were going to follow me. And he watched the N NC. I was just trying to do a cameo, like jump into the chat <laughs> real quick and then leave. Nope. Not to say anything. Dude, I got screwed. I actually had to. My channel got stuck on the golf channel, so I watched golf for four hours. You couldn't change it? No, I couldn't. My channel was messed up. Golf is relaxing. It was women's golf. I'm sorry. Okay, looks like we're doing okay. Yeah. I think we're on 1A South, and yeah. I think 93 is going to come up soon. That doesn't really say that at all. I'm getting rerouted to go on this for like a, almost a mile. So basically, we're going to make a big U turn. Okay, okay so we're going to make right a left turn. Cambridge. Wait, it says left. Mine right says left. Oh, God. This has been cracked so far, hasn't it? Okay, yeah. well. Mine says left. Do yours. Years. But why is it okay to go out there and make a left, but not for me to make a right here? Like, ha like that doesn't. Yeah, that does not make The sense. right should be, I mean, protected. Boston's yeah. stupid. That's really. We have, we have a verdict. I've been here five Boston minutes. Boston is stupid. Oh, good. Oh, good. <laughs> you can't see. Boston is stupid. That's why I like this guy. A bunch of comments from people from Boston be like, "You guys suck." Well, yes. Our city's awesome. I I'm love sure Boston. It is. I'm very. <laughs> I'm sure it's awesome, but it's look not at this, awesome. Look at this building in front of us. You no, think we have anything like that in California? Cool. Well, no, Boston's pretty, but it's stupid. There's snow everywhere. What's the sign say? It's beautiful. We can stay here till 10. So it says two Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. So after 6 p.m. is probably. Hey! Are <laughs> we throwing snowballs at me? <laughs> oh, first person snowball your ass. Wait, no, I'm <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Wow.